الرحیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اللہ مسلح اللہ محمد علی محمد کا مسلح تا علا ابراہیم علا علی ابراہیم ان کا حمد و مجید اللہ مبارک علا محمد علا علی محمد کما بارک تا علا ابراہیم علا علی ابراہیم ان کا حمد و مجید ربش رحلی صدری و سرلی عمری و لدتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی سو ایز دا ٹائٹل سیز ایکٹیویٹ دا وائٹل فورس فرام ود ان مائی نیم از سمر ہاشمی اینڈ آئی ایم این آرکیٹیکٹ بائی پروفیشن بٹ ریسنٹلی وینچر ان ٹو دس فیلڈ آف نیوٹریشن اینڈ اٹس سم تھنگ ویری ویری کلوز ٹو مائی ہارٹ از سم تھنگ وچ ایم ویری ویری پیشنیٹ اباؤٹ الحمد للہ بٹ آئی ایم اسٹل اے لرنر I am not um, declaring myself as any uh, professional right now, um, but jitna bhi maine seekha hai in saalon mein, it's about a journey of three, three years, it's, it's not that much. Uh, I, I love sharing it, my knowledge with other people. So um, presently I've enrolled into a um, college um, by the name of um, College of Naturopathic Medicine in London, and it's the leading college of naturopathy in, um, in the United Kingdom. Uh, my discussion today is activate the vital force from within. So anybody uh, in the audience would like to say what do they, uh, what does vital force mean? What comes to their mind when you use the term vital force? Has anybody heard about it before? The vital force. Energy is like energy, the chi. Chi energy. Yeah. Energy, it's the life, yeah. life energy. And where is it located? Is it? all around us, it's, is it within uh, us, within it's, us. it's within us, external. it's internal, yeah. yeah, but by and large it's within us. So this is, this whole lecture is about self-awareness and the whole idea is to give that knowledge to you uh, where sadly speaking conventional medicine speaks against it because it, it seeks external fa factors like medicines and other things that are interventions. But we connect to ourselves with the nature to heal ourselves and that vital force is within us and we are the masters of this vital force. So, Prophet Muhammad says, wealth is appropriate to a God-fearing person but good health is better for the God-fearing than wealth. So you can see how Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was constantly uh, praying to God for forgiveness and the sound well-being. ہمیشہ ان کا یہ تھا کہ آپ نے یو نو ایمفیسز واز آن اے ہیلدی باڈی اینڈ دین فردر آن ہی سیز ہی آف یو ہو فائنڈ ہم سیلف انجوائنگ گڈ ہیلتھ سیکیور ان اس کمیونٹی اینڈ ہیز از ڈیلی سسٹیننس از ایز ایف ہی ہیڈ دا ہول ورلڈ آن اس فنگر ٹپس اتنی بڑی اہمیت ہے کہتے ہیں نا کہ مومن وہی اچھا ہے جو ہیلدی ہے سو گاڈ ڈزن لائک اے ڈپریسڈ مایوس Uh, moment he wants a healthy um, moment so coming to what health is talking about health because this whole subject will be about health in what what comes to your mind when we talk about health um, mental health, physical health very good very good you've covered two main no. components of health anybody else Emotions. Very good. So with this, we, these are the three immunities which we carry. The first one, the most important, I won't say the most important, but uh, if you go in that order, physical health comes first. Second is mental or emotional. And the third one is spiritual. So in these components, we must be self-aware. And we'll talk about self-awareness in the next slide. So what exactly is health? Why do we fall sick? Hum bimar ki hote hain. And how do we heal? And in these coming slides, we will get the, nature, uh, the answer and we will see that by and large, the nature has the answer to all our problems. And given the right knowledge, we can avail it. We don't need um, anybody else. To, we can do it. It's the healing power is within us. So I like this uh, picture a lot. اور ہم دیکھ رہے ہیں کہ بچہ کتنا ایٹ یو نو فل آف اینرجی اینڈ فل آف وائٹیلٹی اینڈ یو نو ہاؤ ہیز لافنگ اینڈ دا اسپرٹ وچ ہی وی کین فیل ان سائڈ ہیم سو ہیلتھ از ڈسکرائب ایز ابنڈنٹ وائٹیلٹی ابنڈنٹ مطلب کہ لا تعداد 
इन वो क्या उसको बोलते हैं इन्फिनिट अबंडेंट वाइटैलिटी इज इज कॉल्ड हेल्थ द बेस्ट पॉसिबल फिजिकल मेंटल एंड इमोशनल स्टेट सो वाइट लाइक वी डिस्कस्ड के नाक के वो फिजिकल को हम समझें कि नहीं बॉडी तक महदूद नहीं है बट इट इज़ हियर ऑल्सो एंड इट्स स्पिरिचुअल ऑल्सो विच इज द कनेक्शन टू आ टू द सुप्रीम आ लॉर्ड एंड अल्लाह सो वाइटल फोर्स अभी हमने डिस्कस किया था इन चाइनीज मेडिसिन वी कॉल इट ची क्यू आई है बट इट्स प्रोनाउंसड एज ची एंड दैट मीन्स एनर्जी ठीक है एंड इन इंडियन अब इसके तीन इंटरप्रटेशन इन चाइनीज मेडिसिन इन इंडियन मेडिसिन एंड इन वेस्टर्न मेडिसिन और द यूरोपियन नेचुरोपैथिक मेडिसिन इन चाइनीज मेडिसिन इट इज़ कॉल्ड ची विच इज द एनर्जी इन इंडियन मेडिसिन इट्स कॉल्ड पुराना ठीक है पुराना एंड पुराना मीन्स ब्रेथ लाइफ ये योगीज अक्सर ये हमेशा ब्रेथ की बात कर रहे होते हैं बिकॉज दे नो द वैल्यू ऑफ वॉट ब्रेथ इज दे से ब्रेथ इज लाइफ एंड ब्रेथ इज लाइफ एक्चुअली एंड इन वेस्टर्न मेडिसिन वी कॉल इट सिंपली द हीलिंग पावर ऑफ नेचर ठीक है सो वाइटल फोर्स को हम स्टिमुलेट भी कर सकते हैं जिन जिसकी स्लाइड्स आपको अभी नज़र आ रही हैं जिसकी पिक्चर्स नज़र आ रही हैं एंड देन वी कैन ऑल्सो सप्रेस इट एंड वी विल गो ऑन टू द स्लाइड्स where we will see how we are suppressing it consciously or you know na jante hue aur jante hue hum usko suppress karne ki koshish karte hain but these are the ways in which is it is um, stimulated the first one is anybody nature fresh air second one is the sun fresh clean water food diet fasting fasting very good detox. detoxification cleansing medicine. herbal medicine ha huh. so as natural therapists we see what best we can do to promote the flow of um the vital force and these this is done by using natural therapies another quote uh, by my by a famous um, herbalist um in 1902 to 1986 uh, dr alfred wood uh, vogel i hope i'm pronouncing it the right way dr alfred vogel was a swiss herbalist and a pioneer in natural health and vogel wrote these words long before people were aware of what the damage modern um, modern living would do could do to the human race usse pehle hi unhone predict kar liya tha and he said whatever disease the body has produced it is able to revert it theek hai ke isme to sawal hi there is no uh, question that koi kisi disease ka ilaj na ho hamare quran majid mein bhi bar bar iska zikr aaya and then another saying which he said uh, was nature provides everything we need to protect and maintain our health sab kuch maujood hai in the environment in nature in, in, in on this planet earth which is us and another um saying by my famous uh, the hippocrates so people know who hippocrates is was hippocrates was the father of medicine theek hai and his famous quote is let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food ye to hum sab ne suna hoga na and uh, unki puri koshish hoti thi hippocrates ki ke wo you know he used to say ke pehla first uh, when we are attacked by any ailment or disease first uh, remedy should be through food second herbs and third intervention the last resort aur ab hum ulta kar rahe hote theek hai we jab medical science ke paas hame dawaiyon se koi hamara asar nahi ho raha tha then we come back to herbal medicine homeopathy and other fields right we've seen this pattern in our society so uh, hippocrates the father of medicine uh, says natural forces within us are the true healers of the disease तो अब ये काफ़ी दफ़ा मैं कह चुकी हूँ एंड यू हैव हैव एन आइडिया दैट ऑल नेचुरल मेडिसिन स्पेशलिस्ट हिपोक्रेटिस उसमें से था सैमुअल हनमन हु इज़ द इन्वेंटर ऑफ होम्योपैथी एडवर्ड बाख इफ यू नो अबाउट द बैक फ्लावर रेमेडी उसके बारे में भी इन शाह इन द इन द कमिंग स्लाइड्स आई टॉक अबाउट एंड देन मैनी अदर 
लुई पास्चर निखल लुई पास्चर वॉज उसका तो जर्म थ्योरी था ही सेट दैट दैट द डिजीज कम्स फ्राम द जर्म वेर इज अनादर फ्रेंच मुझे उनका नाम नहीं याद आ रहा ही सेट दैट इट्स नॉट द जर्म विच कॉज कॉज इज डिजीज इट्स द इंटरनल इन्वायरमेंट इन साइड अस विच इज़ द कॉज ऑफ द डिजीज तो वो हमने इंटरनल इन्वायरमेंट जितनी स्ट्रॉन्ग होगी द माइक्रोब्स एंड द पैथोजेंस विल नॉट गेट द ग्राउंड टू ब्रीड ऑन सो लेट्स कम टू सेल्फ अवेयरनेस सो बेसिकली कमिंग बैक दिस होल वर्क दिस होल लेक्चर इज अबाउट सेल्फ अवेयरनेस आर वी ऑल सेल्फ अवेयर ऑफ आर सेल्फ ओके वी नो दैट हम वॉट वी आर एंड वॉट्स गोइंग ऑन विद इन आस कि अभी मुझे पता है कि कल जैसे आई ओनली हैव वन एलिमेंट आई शेयर विथ यू आई हैव एसिड रिफ्लक्स फॉर सम रीज़न एंड दैट्स नॉट गोइंग बट आई एम ट्राइंग माई सेल्फ ट्राइंग हार्ड टू कॉम्बैट इट बट आई एम सेल्फ अवेयर कि मेरे में ये प्रॉब्लम है एंड आई नो दैट चॉकलेट इज अ ट्रिगर फॉर एसिडिटी आई नो अनियंस एंड गार्लिक आर अ ट्रिगर सो आई एम अवेयर ऑफ दिस थिंग्स एंड आई कंट्रोल्ड माई टेम्पटेशन देर एंड देन मेरा बड़ा दिल सो वी नो ड्यूरिंग माई the study sessions which i do and my learning sessions which i am doing at home i usually consume on sweets but at that time kyunki mujhe lag raha tha nahi abhi thodi si there are some good days and there some bad days so that was a bad day and i said i you know i knew this temptation coming in and i got hold of it so this is self awareness so self awareness is basically knowing your weakness and then working upon it that self awareness and self awareness hum usko bahut under uh, uh, mind karte hain it is the most पावरफुल थिंग दैट मोस्ट पीपल इज नोर इसको हम नहीं करते कि वी जस्ट यू नो वी विल हैव बॉडी एक्स आर बॉडी इज गिविंग अ स्कीयर सिग्नस बट वी विल पे नो हीट ठीक है एंड दैट्स वेयर एंड इफ इट्स इन रिपिटेटिव मोड इट बिकम्स अ साइकल एंड दैट्स वेन डिजीज कम्स इन सो we need to be able to recognize the disease symptoms which are able to start in the body and that is self awareness when we are self connected when we know that the body is talking to us our body gives us so many messages every day and we need to pick up those signals on a daily basis uh so there's no no question about ignoring it so self awareness on a physical emotional and spiritual level physical mental and emotional level like we talked about the three levels there's no question disease will come inside the body and even if it does इट गोज अवे वेरी क्विकली तो इतनी ज़्यादा आपको वो स्ट्रॉन्ग करती है सो कमिंग टू हीलिंग वेयर इज डिजीज कमिंग फ्राम वो बीमारी आ कहाँ से रही है अभी हमने तीन चीज़ें की थी ना बीमारी हेल्थ क्या है बीमारी वाई डू वी गेट सिक एंड वाई डू वी हील सो दिस इज द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन वाई वेयर इज द डिजीज कमिंग फ्राम फ्राम इंटरनल एंड एक्सटर्नल बेसिकली इंटरनल तो हमारा थॉट प्रोसेस हो गया ना वो भी इट्स ट्रिगर्ड बाई ऑल दीज दीज फैक्टर्स बट एक्सटर्नली उसका काफ़ी अमल दखल है सो द फर्स्ट वन इज जंक फूड विच इज प्रोसेस्ड कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स एंड प्रोटीन्स जेनेटिकली मॉडिफाइड आप देखो द फ्रेंच फ्राइज आर यूजिंग हाइड्रोजनेटेड ऑयल विच रिलीज फ्री रेडिकल्स इन द बॉडी एंड यू नीड अ लॉड ऑफ एंटी या तो आप एंटी ऑक्सीडेंट्स ले रहे हो एंटी ऑक्सीडेंट्स आर फ्रूट्स एंड वेजिटेबल्स सो वी हैविंग अ गुड होल a uh, portion of fruits and vegetables then we are able to detoxify them from the body but then why should we take them in the first place so these are a cause of free radicals in the body and they are extremely harmful and in long term they are they are cause of obesity diabetes cancer tak wahan baat pahunch jati hai and the second one is the medicines we take theek hai ye bhi hamare symptoms ko suppress kar rahi hain rather than taking them out like other natural थेरेपीज टू होम्योपैथी दे टेक द डिजीज आउट एंड पहले फ्लेयर अप होता है इसका टिपिकल साइन ये होता है एंड देन द ट्रीटमेंट स्टार्ट दीज आर कंटिन्यूसली सप्रेसिंग इन हम हमारे सिम्टम्स ऊपर से चले जाते हैं बट इन साइड डीप रूटेड द डिजीज गो समवेयर एल्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू टेकिंग ए टॉपिकल ट्रीटमेंट फॉर डेमाटाइटिस या एक्जिमा ठीक है वो हमारा ऊपर ऊपर से तो वील फील के अच्छा वो तो चला गया है बट Actually, that medicine or that cortisol, which is a steroid, is usually eczema. Okay, wo, I'm just giving you an example. That medicine is used. It goes to our lungs. So there are many patients who have who are treating themselves for skin uh, disease and having these steroid medicines. It affects the lungs directly, and they are having 
asthma and you know ekdam se koi is tarah ki cheeze start ho jati hain which are not with you won't say they're inborn so they take the disease deep inside the the body aur phir unko nikalna bada mushkil lamba kaam ho jata hai so medicines are suppressing the disease um then we have all these candies and sodas don't think that they are zara bhi iska koi fayda hai it's nuksan hi nuksan hai and the toxic environment if you're in a polluted environment some cities in pakistan extremely polluted even that is lahore depends on which area you are if you are in the 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 central part of the city where there is so it's all of lahore i think i live in mall town so i don't i'm a, i'm the lucky one there's so many trees and foliage i don't feel the pollution uh, but yes lahore has in in time we know the october october to december and january months are terrible so that toxic environment hame na pata to nahi chal raha but they are doing havoc inside our bodies yeah but again दिस यू नो अल्लाह ने हर चीज़ में हर चीज़ का हर बीमारी का हर सिचुएशन का वट एवर विच वी आर एक्सपोज टू हर चीज़ में लाज लिखा एंड देन फॉर दिस लाइक आई मैंशन कि इसके लिए आपको यू नीड फ्रूट्स एंड वेजिटेबल्स टू डिटॉक्सीफाई द द फ्री रेडिकल्स फॉर टॉक्सिसिटी फ्राम पोलूटेड इन्वायरमेंट और फ्राम मेडिसन और मे बी इवन वैक्सीन्स there are her- herbal treatments and the herbal treatments are chelators they call chelators coriander is the best chelator which works in mostly the green herbs but usme se jo jo sabse jo number 1 per herb aata hai it's coriander it takes away the the it chelates it bonds to the uh, the toxic compounds and excretes them fir hamari chutneys wagaira mein hota hai usme hota hai hari chutneys is the best thing to have on a daily basis and the other thing which um, where disease is coming from can anybody yes. identify this stress. 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 no 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 stress so, sorry the yes bio-rhythms. the biorhythms another thing we we'll, we'll come to that in detail is the circadian rhythm if you go against the circadian rhythm then there is a big problem and the uh, last of all use of um, risky substances which we call um so humne dekh liya hai ke um disease is not only diet related it's coming from the environment and it's coming from a lifestyle and it is essential to remove these address these and remove and this is how all of these things create blockages to the vital force theek hai vital force ki baat ho ye sab blockages create karte hain and um you have to remove these blockages to be able to activate the vital force from within okay so disease just this is just an extra knowledge for you all um all diseases are caused in the body due to some processes right inflammation is one very common word we all know of uh pain redness swelling flaring, flaring. flaring up heat ye sare terms hum when we talk about inflammation all these symptoms come to our mind oxidative stress these things called oxidative stress wo jo maine free radicals ki baat ki thi this is a new term but we keep on hearing about it free radicals they cause oxidative stress even jo hum gharon mein tel apna dalda wagaira ye jo istemal karte hain um all these vegetable oils uh, they cause oxidative stress because wo itni high temperatures mein hamare desi khane pakate pakte hain ki wo um these um oils lose their chemical composition and become toxic and they cause oxidative stress in the body and that is a cause for cancer uh, heart disease heart disease especially oxidative stress ye sare basically body processes are which which are these are terms um which are the cause for disease lipotoxicity toxicity lipo means fat Haan. it has to do with fat it packs it up in fat it stores it somewhere yeah it stores in the organs fatty liver is a good example dysbiosis anybody dysbiosis is is a compromise in gut bacteria microbiome biosis biome theek hai that's where we get the term from dysbiosis is ke jab hamara microbiome khatam ho jata hai aur wo wo kyun khatam hota hai ya khatam to nahi hota but it's compromised medicines antibiotics antibiotics primarily um soul disconnection non tayyab foods and materialism cause to disease so what is health 
wholesome natural organic food detoxification and cleansing exercise restorative sleep restorative sleep hamari aksar jo hai i think hum kafi fizat log jo hai we don't get this part we get this one we will don't get this part body clock synchronization which is we we'll talk about the circadian rhythm ki hamari with the ultimate divine universe ke sath hamari kya hamari bodies align hui hui hai ya nahi emotional health and spiritual health so there are three levels of immunity like we discussed the physical immunity emotional immunity and the spiritual immunity and that's when we complete nothing is loose ended it's not just food it's a whole holistic process so emotional well mental well being hogi or spiritually hum connected honge connected honge with the divine and then we can say that we have abundant vitality which we call immunity so everybody has heard about this uh, we uh, this famous quote saying we are what we eat right but that's not true we are not what we eat we are what you we digest we are what we absorb we are what we don't excrete so ye teen body processes ho gaye na digest absorb and excrete um uh, indian medicine mein digestion ko hum kehte hain nahi nahi wo hai prana hai vital vital force but indian medicine mein hum sorry ayurveda i'll use the term hum digestion ko kehte hain agni agni or agni agni theek hai and they they describe digestion as the uh, as the digestive fire things need to be warm things th- things need to be stimulating things need to be hot and that's when the digestive fi- fire is stimulated to so, uh, hum log jo hain in western medicine in chinese medicine and in uh, ayurveda in indian medicine hum energetics ko padhte hain aur aage ja ke inshallah i will um, probably in my next lecture i will this energetics is a really advanced it's a very uh, comprehensive detailed um field of medicine or agar energetics ko humne samajh liya hai we've understood a lot about healing and health so energetics hain their body energies are sorted with cold hot dry and moist theek hai aur agar ye humne again self awareness pe baat ho jati hai ki ye agar humne jaan liya hai to we can we can know how to heal ourselves for example and it or ye differ karta with age ठीक है इट इट चेंजेस विद एज इट चेंजेस विद सीजन्स इट चेंजेस विद क्लाइमेट इट चेंजेस विद वे वी लिविंग जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल आई गिव यू गर्मियों में हम लोग लस्सियाँ पीते हैं राइट वी हैव कोल्ड थिंग्स वी विल हैव ऑल दीज शरबत्स एंड लेमन जूस बट अब बरसात में थोड़ा सा वील यू नो आई वॉज बैट इलेक्ट्रिक यू ओके आई आई विल अवॉइड माई माई कोल्ड ड्रिंक बिकॉज बरसात आ गई है वेदर इज चेंजिंग एंड देन सर्दियों में बिल्कुल नहीं पीऊँगी सो इन द वॉम um in the in the moist season we we change the food right aur phir hum garmiyon mein sardiyon mein jab hum bilkul dusri taraf aa jate hain we start having warm foods right because us waqt hamari jo chemistry hai wo cold ki taraf aayegi because of the external temperature around us so when the agni is weak ab wapas aa jate hain hum agni is the digestive fire in ayurveda and that has to be you know stimulating and that's when our body is ready for digestion and assimilation of foods right लेकिन जब अग्नि वीक हो जाती है और वीक कैसे होती है इन चीज़ों से प्रोसेस्ड फूड्स एंड कार्ब्स कोल्ड ड्रिंक्स एंड ये ये कोल्ड कॉन्स्टिट्यूंसी की तरफ आ जाती है डाइजेस्टिव फायर सप्रेस हो जाता है तो फिर अग्नि वीक हो जाती है एंड दैट ब्रिंग्स दैट गैज एस टूवर्ड्स कोल्डनेस मॉइसनेस एंड दैट्स एंड दैट्स द टाइम वन फूड इज़ नॉट रिमेन्स अनडाइजेस्टेड जब तक डाइजेस्टिव फायर नहीं होगा फूड ब्रेक डाउन नहीं होगा सो हम डाइजेशन की बात करें सॉरी इधर वी नीड टू हैव डाइजेस्टिव फायर इन आर स्टमक एंड वी नीड टू हैव दोज वॉमिंग दोज होलसम नेचुरल फूड्स एंड एंड फूड्स एंड ड्रिंक्स क्लोज टू आर कोर टेम्परेचर जैसे हमारा नॉर्मल बॉडी टेम्परेचर इज थर्टी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव राइट तो हमने उसके क्लोज क्लोज रहना है जितना हम 
और लाइक ऑफ कोर्स इट डिपेंड्स ऑन सीजन्स गर्मियों में हम कोल्ड ड्रिंक्स ले सकते हैं दो संडे मशरू बिकॉज देन द एक्सटर्नल टेम्परेचर सो वॉम वी नीड कूलिंग हर्ब्स एंड वी नीड कूल ड्रिंक्स बट इफ़ यू गो इफ यू हैव कोल्ड फूड्स एंड यू नो रॉ एंड ऑल दीज फूड्स दे आर गोइंग अगेंस्ट अ बॉडी टेम्परेचर उतनी ज़्यादा बॉडी को काम करना पड़ेगा टू गेट इट बिकॉज इट्स ओनली इन दैट थर्टी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड वेर द नॉर्मल सेल्यूलर फंक्शंस हैपन राइट इसलिए हम कहते हैं कि बॉडी एक कंप्लीट होम्योस्टैटिस में होती है होम्योस्टैटिस इज द इंटरनल बॉडी कंडीशन ऑफ इंटरनल स्टेडी बॉडी कंडीशन और बॉडी कॉन्स्टेंटली कोशिश कर रही होती दिस इज़ अ मेरेकल फ्राम अल्लाह दैट वी आर कॉन्स्टेंटली कॉन्स्टेंटली द बॉडी इज़ ट्राइंग टू ब्रिंग इट टूवर्ड्स द करेक्ट बैलेंस or the homeostasis as we call it uh, we start when there's excess heat we start sweating the body is taking out the excess heat from the body and we are, when we are in a cold environment the body shivers why does it shiver it shivers because it, it, the contraction of muscles and it to heat generate karne ki hai so so uh, these foods like i said uh, all these proces- processed foods for example they are the things which um weaken the agni and uh, food remains undigested and when the foods are undigested um they result in accumulating as toxins jab wo digest nahi honge break down nahi honge wo absorb nahi honge to unka kya hoga they probably won't get excreted and then they will recirculate in the blood as toxins and in ayurveda this state is called the ama agni and ama so ama agni is the digestive fire fire and ama is the accumulation of toxins so we need to um avoid those toxins Uh, accumulating in our body, so absorption will only play, take place when the food has been completely broken down. Even a chewing helps. जब हम chew करते हैं and we you know mixing saliva with the food, that's an excellent thing. वो जो हमारी जो हदीस है कि बीस या बाईस दफ़ा हमने chew करना है उसमें एक logic है उसमें एक हमत है. So जितना ज़्यादा हम चबाएँगे तो body के organs को इतना ज़्यादा काम काम करना पड़ेगा to digest it. So again um, we are breaking it into the simplest form, simplest of forms to be able to absorb it there's one um uh, you know when there's improper absorption we talk absorb nahi ho raha so improper digestion is a cause for uh, lack of absorption and then leaky gut leaky gut aajkal ek bahut common sa hum agar health ka karte hain leaky gut is a cause for um, autoimmune diseases uh, even for cardiovascular diseases diabetes जो हमारे जब इंटेस्टाइन स्टार्ट लीक देर इज़ अ जो उनकी आपको सिंपलर वर्ड्स में बताती हूँ जो म्यूकर्सल मेम्ब्रेन होती है देर आर पंक्चर्स और दे स्टार्ट लीकिंग एंड देन ऑल द अनडाइजेस्टेड मटेरियल व्हिच हैज़ टू बी डाइजेस्टेड कम्स आउट एंड फ्लोज इन द ब्रास्ट इन दैट्स कॉल लीकिंग गट तो वो भी प्रॉब्लम हो जाती है एंड देन एक्सक्रीशन इज थ्रू लाइक हमने बात की थी जब एक्सक्रीशन में uh, में मसला आ जाए देन वी गेट थिंग्स लाइक फाइब्रॉइड्स in women pcos endometriosis uh, endometriosis and th- these are a cause um, these these are basically due to estrogen estrogen dominance jo estrogen hormone hota hai which we uh, are getting from all these you know jo hum chicken khate hain eggs khate hain they all have these hormones sh- these all these uh, shots in them and they are they're high in estrogen and we need to get that hum kha to lete hain but we need to get that out but if there's blockage in our um, excretory system then there is estrogen too much estrogen estrogen is not being uh, taken out of the body and that causes which is very common these days it causes um fibro- fibroids and and polycystic ovaries and even cancer so um one way how to deal with them is increase the fiber content in your diet theek hai now last but not the least acha सो so, इसके बारे में हमने बात कर ली है डाइजेशन वट यू नो पावर टू डाइजेस्ट डाइजेशन इज इम्पेयर बाई एनर्जेटिक इम्बेलेंस एनर्जेटिक्स की हमने बात की है ईटिंग फास्ट फूड एंड नॉट चूइंग फूड प्रॉपरली फ्रीकुंट स्नैकिंग नॉट लिविंग इनफ गैप बिटवीन मील्स दिस इज ऑल्सो अ न्यू थिंग टू माई नॉलेज दैट वक्फा खाने के बीच में मील्स में के बीच में छोड़ना कितना ज़रूरी है एंड दैट्स वेन Uh, there's a scientific term for it. It's called the mig- motor migratory complex, and ba- that basically is an um, electrical imp- impulse in the digestive system which cleans out. Well, एक हमने खाना खाया है, then we must leave leave a three एक meal के बाद a three hour gap for the MMC, the motor migratory 
um, complex to do its job of sweeping. Like imagine a brush, ठीक है? आपने उसने ब्रश से वो सारा खाना निकाल के एंड देन द बॉडी इज रेडी फॉर अनदर मील एंड इफ वी कॉन्स्टेंटली स्नैकिंग कि हम इधर से ये पकड़ लिए हमने उधर से वो पकड़ लिए वी डोंट गिव टाइम फॉर द बॉडी टू डू इट्स स्वीपिंग राइट सो इस वजह से देर इट्स इट एम बेस्ट डाइजेशन फॉर शो ड्रिंकिंग कोल्ड वाटर हमने कोल्ड टेम्परेचर की बात की थी ड्रिंकिंग लिक्विड बिटवीन मील बिटवीन मील्स एंड आफ्टर मील्स is a big no no they uh, dilute all the digestive ju- juices and the enzymes i hope nobody uh, is doing this but we'll we'll have a chat after the lecture is over sugar gluten and dairy all these things kya karte hain ye they raise the blood ph digestion uh, uh, and then mindless eating we'll come to that also and stress stress is the biggest factor contributing factor to all of stomach acid enzymes Uh, and um, uh, stomach acid and enzymes foundation of health lie in balancing the agni the digestive fire when agni is balanced ama cannot form and ama as i told you is the toxic state okay now coming to my uh, to the healing part the solution to all our problems theek hai um so we talked about immunity right the three levels of immunity तो उसमें सबसे ज़्यादा जो वेयर इम्यूनिटी लाइज बेसिकली एंड वी वॉल हर्ड अबाउट इज इज इन आर गट द गट इज इज दिस पार्ट सो दर इज द लिवर दर इज द स्टमक द पैनक्रियाज एंड द इंटेस्टाइन द स्मॉल द गोल ब्रेडर एंड द स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन एंड द लार्ज इंस्टाइन दैट मेक्स आर डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम तो जब हम डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम की बात करते हैं तो हम खाली लिवर की नहीं बात करते हम स्टमक की नहीं बात करते हम इस पूरे हिस्से की बात करते हैं द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम स्टार्ट फ्राम द माउथ बिकॉज चुइंग हमारी मुँह से होती है ना डाइजेशन हो रही है सलाइवा इज ब्रेकिंग डाउन द फूड एंड देन टूअर्स द गोड्स टूअर्स थ्रू दॉफोगस टू द स्टमक एंड टू द इंटेस्टाइन सत्तर फीसद हमारी इम्यूनिटी हमारे इधर मौजूद है दर इज़ वन वर्ड फॉर इट जो उधर रहते हैं इट इज़ अ कॉलोनी ऑफ दैन सॉरी बैक्टीरिया एंड दैट्स कॉल्ड द गट बैक्टीरिया इसका एक और वर्ड तीन वर्ड्स हैं गट बैक्टीरिया माइक्रोबायोम एंड द अदर वन इज माइक्रोफ्लोरा देर ऑल द सेम थिंग सो द गट बैक्टीरिया इज दिस कॉलोनी ऑफ दिस गुड बैक्टीरियाज विच हेल्प इन डाइजेशन इन एब्जॉर्बशन मेनली एब्जॉर्बशन and the more the colony jitni badi unki hamare paas team hogi samjho we are uh, moving towards optimum health and those are the, that is achieved by all these things doing all these things and mainly through foods like probiotics jaise dahi hai hamare fermented foods uh, like uh, in our part of the world the yogurt is best kimchi sauerkraut in the in in not used uh, very much in this in pakistan but yogurt is best for our part and then these um, homemade achars isko bhi hum fermentation ke through banate hain not those uh, the ones which come in bottles they processed no not those ones but the homemade any food which has gone through a fermentation process is good is a food for that gut bacteria even fiber is a food to that gut bacteria so if you're giving the gut bacteria and if you know how important they are in our body they are a defense system like i said 70% immunity unhone they are they're the superintendents for the our immunity तो उनको हमने फिर कुछ खिलाना भी तो है ना सो वी वी हैव टू नर्चर देन वी हैव टू टेक केयर ऑफ देन ओके नाउ द फर्स्ट कंपोनेंट लेट्स कम टू फिजिकल इम्यूनिटी फिजिकल इम्यूनिटी में हमारा क्या क्या आ जाता है फिजिकल इम्यूनिटी में हमारा आ जाता है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी लेट स्टार्ट विद द स्टार्ट ऑफ द वेन वी स्टार्ट अ डे एंड इट्स विद ब्रेकफर्स्ट ब्रेकफर्स्ट इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट मील ऑफ द डे और दैट्स वेयर Uh, most of our, us either they don't have knowledge or we're in a hurry and or, or we just uh, we just you know don't have any concept of self care ke bas theek hai theek hai isko delay kar do the more early it is so the ideal time is half an hour or one hour after waking up if you consume your breakfast within that time digestion and assimilation of all these nutrients are op- optimum and the another another rule is the digestion rule is 5 am to 9 am this is the digestion mode ठीक है सो दे दर थ्री मोड्स इन द बॉडी द डाइजेशन मोड द इंटरनेक्चुअल मोड एक्चुअली टू डाइजेशन इंटरनेक्चुअल मोड्स 
and they are teen usme hisso mein aate hain from 5 am to 9 pm we have the digestion mode going on from 9 am to 4 pm we have the intellectual mode going on so iska matlab ye hai ki usme humne khana kam khana hai because all that energy from our breakfast from the food is going to the mind so we will probably have a light snack at lunch time and then 4 pm to 9 pm again our body goes to the digestive mode theek hai so agar hame dekha jaye uh, from an islamic perspective hamari jo bodies hain wo roze ki halat mein design hui hain sehri aur aftari right wo dono digestion mode ke andar uske jo hamare khane ke times hote hain sehri aur aftari wo digestion mode ke andar aate hain so i hope i'm making sense to everybody i'm not going too fast i've got got a little bit over mera time ho gaya but if you can bear more patience yes okay so um aur ye jo time jo hai na this falls under the central clock clock which is scn and iske niche baaki sari clocks jo hai na body ki wo kaam karte hain i'll discuss in detail about this the central clock and the peripheral clocks the smaller clocks so breakfast should be tummy full combination of complex carbs and proteins theek hai um there should be no compromise uh, just having a porridge not enough just having a light toast with butter and chai not enough so the breakfast should be the main meal of the day uh, or um, it should be a combination of complex carbs and proteins fiber bhi ho usme and protein bhi ho um no fruits fruits is not a uh, breakfast fruits and all these things um comes even milk comes during snack times so the body needs these essential ingredients and that's why i'm stressing on complex carbs and protein so don't hurry celebrate breakfast and uh, shouldn't be in a you know uh, mindful eating everybody knows mindful eating aram se baith ke sukoon se within half an hour to 1 hour of uh, of waking up the more early it is the more uh it supports the liver and the more optimum health you will so all these slides coming up are liver centric they support the liver and as we know all diseases are are um, we were working on diseases or ailments we work on the liver first because that's the master organ of the body and the important rules is like i talked about the digestion mode and the intellectual mode um the 5 to 9 9 am is the ideal time for breakfast because that falls into the digestion mode maximum organs are ready to assimilate and digest food acha ji so abhi hamari clocks ki baat ho rahi thi and let me go to this how the other small body clocks are synchronized with the master clock can you see the cursor yes. sabko nazar aa raha hai everybody can see theek hai so it's synchronized with the master clock of the body having breakfast on time the right amount and the right food supports the liver so the liver wakes up it is at, it is at this time the liver wakes up and homeostasis is achieved like i apne abhi homeostasis ka term use kiya tha na so homeostasis is the internal um balance of the body your ph balance your hormone balance sugar body temperature all comes under homeostasis and that's when all of this is achieved and the liver function supports all this so and it starts with the hum we can't say ke 12 baje hum nashta kar rahe hain to we are going to achieve all these things we won't because that's not in that um digestion mode time so um having uh, having done all these our metabolism works immunity rises energy level rises aging proce- process is reversed even hamare skin par impact padta hai uh, and positive impact on behaviors and emotions <laughs> um and the gut is activated so 50 and to 60% when we as natural therapist work on our patients we organize we first work on the breakfast because we know like you know patients ke liye itna pura ek regimented wo pura plan follow karna mushkil hota hai so we take it, take one step at a time and we focus on a healthy tummy full breakfast at the right time so homeostasis we were talking about aap imagine karo that uh, there's there's a scale there's a seesaw and it's balanced so that's where our um and our all our, the organs of our body are constantly working to achieve that homeostasis aur jitna hum cheeze ko temperature ke andar humne khana khaya khana hai hume crow temperature ke bare mein humne baat ki hai um hamare meal times hamare set ho within that clocks which i'll talk about 
and uh, so all of these things are blood glucose levels iron content uh, iron ba iron balance iron basically are electrolytes and minerals in the body water content temperature all of these things are maintained and that's what we um, call homeostasis homeostasis that is so this is a disease free state of the body homeostasis try to remember that term okay and that's what we achieving right now and in the in surah mu'minun it says kulu minal kulu minat tayyibati wa amalu saliha eat of the good things and act righteously okay eat of the good things which the earth has provided you and act righteously and obviously when we eating good things and lawful things and tayyib foods we automatically uh, they uh, go to our actions also acha ji circadian rhythm the most puri slides me say this is the most important component of my lecture today and i am particularly focusing on it because this is become a, a real problem of this era not only in pakistan but the entire world our whole our timings are haywire and uh, the um, very intense extreme problems in individuals in children especially because unhone to dekha hi yahi hai na unhone to apni they haven't seen i'm sure the two children sitting in the audience waking up late uh, sorry waking up late uh, sleeping late they're going totally opposite the circadian rhythm and the circadian rhythm is linked with the no it's linked with the sun suraj ki roshni se hamari circadian rhythm linked hai so in it's a latin word and it's basically circa means approximate and dies or dan means day so it circadian rhythm denotes to a 24 hour cycle jo ke ek din mein aata hai aur wohi phir dusre din repeat hota hai so it it um, is linked with the sun suraj ki roshni our uh, waking up when we wake up and when we sleep theek hai and during uske beech mein jo bhi that, that whole length of time what our body does is uh, denotes to the circadian rhythm as you can see here ye puri ek clock bani hui hai so ye it's a um, it's a clock it's a universal clock which which applies to the universe the the species in general you can't say ki this person abiha has no she wakes up late she uski to body clock us tarah adjust hui no this is not the case we are a species in you know in in totality ki hamari ek hi jaisi hamara nizam bana hua hai aur wo suraj ki roshni balki na ki hum na sirf hamara but all living even the animals and the plants are linked to the the set, the 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 rising and the setting of the sun and uh, sadly speaking they are more following the the divine system than us and we have you know we are losers we have we are, we can't we know we have knowledge but even then we don't pay heed so that's the tragedy so circadian rhythm uh, uh, the circadian rhythm ka jo 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 main clock hai it is um located in the hypothalamus of the brain i'm just going to a little bit of scientific uh, scientific detail which is called the scn super um chiasmatic nucleus and this is the small pea size thing uh, it determines a choti si clock hoti hai and which is the master clock of the body determines takes it uh, light from the retina of the eye and then provos scn mein jaati and then वो सिग्नल हमारे सारे बॉडी ऑर्गन्स में जाता है सो सेल सेल साइकिल प्रोग्रेशन साइटोकाइन रिलीज व्हिच इज द एंटीबॉडीज एंड दोज ऑल दोज यू नो व्हिच फाइट अगेंस्ट माइक्रोब्स एंड बैक्टीरिया हार्मोन सिक्रीशन मेमोरी कंसोलिडेशन मेटाबॉलिक एंड इम्यून रेगुलेशन ऑल अकर्स व्हेन वी स्लीप ठीक है ओके सो द डिविजन ऑफ टू क्लॉक्स अभी हमने समझा है सो दर इज द मेन क्लॉक विच इज दिस सी एन वी टेक्स इन द लाइट द रेटना टेक्स इन द लाइट फ्रॉम द सन एंड देन इट्स ट्रांसपोर्टेड टू द एस सी एन विच 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 इज द सुपर द द मास्टर क्लॉक ऑफ द बॉडी और फिर उसके बाद आप जैसे देख रहे हो इन दिस ह्यूमन बॉडी फिगर वी कैन सी द अदर ऑर्गन्स द अदर ऑर्गन्स डोनेट दैट हर ऑर्गन जैसे लंग्स हैं और लिवर है एंड दिस पैंक्रियाज एंड दिस इंटेस्टाइंस हैव द इंडिविजुअल क्लॉक्स तो एवरी Uh, these smaller clocks are linked with the clock of the main clock which lies in our brain so you can see another uh, interesting slide 
ठीक है मेन क्लॉक एंड पेरेफ्रल क्लॉक्स वी ऑल नो द मीनिंग ऑफ पेरेफ्रल दे डिवाइडेड इनटू स्मॉलर क्लॉक्स तो यू यू नो हम इस तरह समझे कि हमारे दिल में भी एक छोटी सी घड़ी है हमारे लिवर में भी एक छोटी सी घड़ी मौजूद है लंग में भी है किडनीज में भी है एंड दे ऑल हैव दीज स्पेसिफिक टाइमिंग्स टू परफॉर्म द ड्यूटीज ठीक है और इसमें बड़ा अच्छा एग्जाम्पल जो दिया हुआ है वो ट्रेडिशनल चाइनीज मेडिसिन दे हैव दिस क्लॉक दिस डिज़ाइन विच वॉज ऑबली डिज़ाइन हंड्रेड एंड हंड्रेड्स ऑफ ईयर्स बैक एंड उसमें दे दे सी के दे हैव डिटर्मिन के ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम कौन सा ऑर्गन फिट्स इन टू दैट टाइम फॉर एग्जाम्पल ट्वेल्व नून मिड डे आपका हार्ट आ जाता है ठीक है सो हार्ट फंक्शन इज ऑप्टिमल राइट ओके सो आई वॉज वेकिंग अप एट थ्री ए एम थ्री ए एम इन द इन द एवरी नाइट एंड आई वॉज लाइक कि मुझे क्या प्रॉब्लम हो रही है आई एम स्लीपिंग अर्ली एंड वाई डू आई ऑलवेज वेक अप सो um i was i i don't diagnose my own self that i definitely have something going wrong in my liver like my my teacher the my specialist told me you have you have a malabsorption in your gut so the liver the dekho aap agar aap dekho to 1 am to 3 am kaun sa organ aa raha hai the liver can you see the liver theek hai so sare organs ka alag alag time hai kehne ka ye maqsad hai all are performing their duties according to the to their specific timing and we need to optimum our time uh, we need to um organize our meals uh, in such a way ki wo us us time ke andar wo ho for example breakfast time jo hota hai usme stomach ka as you can see 8 am 5 am to 8 am kaun se to organs hain jo kaam kare large intestine and stomach they are all related to the digestive system so that's where our breakfast needs to fit in so ideal timings correct timings um uh, device for breakfast are 5 am to 9 am you have to remember that because the digestion mode is on abhi humne modes ki baat ki thi 9 se 4 baje tak phir hamara intellectual mode aa jata hai so eat less and you can have light snacks and then again 5 to 9 pm is the ideal dinner time which is goes into the digestion mode oh allah remind us what we forgot of it and teach us of it what we have not learned so this all of this information is coming to you as a reminder i thought uh, of of this mujhe kahin se mili thi i thought of sharing it all these tips and knowledge i'm sharing is coming to you as a reminder so agar hum circadian rhythm ke pattern par aaye hum ponder kare at how our universe is working the entire universe follows a set pattern right chal raha hai na kisi ek 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 hasti chala rahi hai uski aur ek nizam ke under wo follow kar raha hai and majal hai Okay, the the planets move in the reverse direction. The world around us, okay, they um, go against the laws of nature. Does it happen? No. Will you see a bird um, after um, sunset, looking around and searching around for food? Would you? Yes. Only the night birds. Owls, who who night birds are like. No, you will not see. In the morning, we see birds chirping. The night birds, owls, chimgadar. ये तो अल्लाह ताला ने रात की मखलूक बनाई हुई. But जो दिन की सारी वो किस तरह वो अल्लाह ताले के नज़ाम को follow कितनी खूबसूरती से कर रही होती हैं, कितने flow से कर रही होती हैं और मज़ाल है. Our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam disliked uh, for us to sleep before the Isha prayer and even to talk after the Isha prayer. And the reason why uh, we he disliked uh and uh, forbade us to sleep before the isha prayer was because of the proximity of time of our night sleep and the fear of missing isha prayers our prophet disliked it and forbade us from taking a nap between maghrib and isha prayers and it is clearly stated in the quran in surah mumin it is allah who created night for you so that you may gain rest in it and the day giving sight indeed allah is most munificent towards mankind but most people do not give thanks what a beautiful lesson to follow aur isi ko agar hum thoda sa elaborate kare rest therein by night so what happens during the night signals are sent through the eye to inhibit the scn jo 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 super chiasmatic nucleus jo brain mein hai uski inhibition wahan cut lag jata hai ki bas up you are not taking more light in and that's ab darkness aa gayi hai and now 20000 nerve cells release melatonin from the pineal gland pineal gland ek chhota sa gland hai in our brain which 
uh, releases melatonin. It's a hormone. Everybody knows about melatonin and which uh, induces sleepiness. उससे हमें नींद आती है. तो ये निजाम है जो कुराने पाक में जिक्र है कि रात को किस तरह वो नर्व सेल्स मेलेटोनिन रिलीज करती हैं और उनसे ये क्या सारे बॉडी ऑल दीज व्हाट वुड यू से मेटाबॉलिक प्रोसेस इज टेक प्लेस मेमोरी कंसोलिडेशन हार्मोन सिक्रीशन साइटोकोन रिलीज इफ यू साइटोकोन इज बेसिकली दिस एंटी इन्फ्लेमेटरी जो कि सारे पैथोजन से फाइट कर, करते हैं um during disease process but that happens during night cell cycle pro- pro- cell cells are recycled rejuvenated metabolic and immune regulation so all these processes happen happen during the night even a growth hormone jaise bachcha raat ko uski growth hoti hai that's when the growth hormones are released so if the night the sleep uh, during the night is compromised or we having less or we sleeping late all these you're compromising on all these body functions it's such a loss Indeed, man is in a big loss. Basically, melatonin release happens between 11 p.m. at night to 3 a.m. in the morning. The liver rest, replenishes, rejuvenates, detoxes, and heals, and um, so that it can function the the next day. And during the day, what does happen? Uh, daytime, me adrenal glands, jo mari hoti hai, wo mari uh, hormones release karta hai, which is called the cortisol. Cortisol is a emergency. hormone it's a steroid hormone released by adrenals and uh, it's it happens during a flight and flight mode fight and flight mode jis waqt hum emergency mode mein hote hain ek to us waqt uh, cortisol release hota hai aur ek re- release hota hai during the day stress is ke sath bhi hota hai stress ke sath emergency mode all of this uh, are the same thing and then um, during morning time when we wake up we need that burst of cortisol in our blood taki hum sare body uh, functions wo uh, kar sake so when there's too much stress there's too much cortisol in the blood and there's too much cortisol we have mood swings anxiety depression blood sugar irregularities weight gain mental f- frogginess um, grogginess and muscle weakness so as muslims we are extremely lucky that uh, due to offering five times prayer during the day and these are the changing times of the day which is at fajr time the time of sunrise zuhur asar maghrib and isha these are all the changing times of the day and we are by offering these daily prayers we are effectively syncing our bodies with the circadian rhythm with the rhythm of the universe especially during fajr prayer which is the time of the day where the sun um, when 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 we when we have the dawn we have the sunrise which shows us that we start the day with light and with life so now we come to this beautiful fancy name called siesta which you may also call as kelula in arabic uh, siesta is a spanish word for afternoon nap and in this uh, in this tradition of siesta dates back thousands of years in in islam our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam practiced kelula or siesta and reconnect it as an ideal way of recharging our batteries basically stimulating the brain halfway through the day especially to escape the afternoon heat and getting rid of lethargy so an excellent way to restart our work, work afresh uh, by taking a midday short power nap however in the western and the northern countries you mu- we must have all observed that it's not as much as practiced over there maybe due to the uh, due to the energizing climate and shorter daylight hours but however uh, recent uh, recently healthcare providers have uh, encouraged uh, or rather i would say recommended this 20 to 30 minute power nap after lunch break to to people who are especially working you know longer hours in offices in order to recharge and energize their batteries and improve their work performance so um uh, rather than relying on stimulants just like caffeine and sugar to restore false energy and alertness employees are now encouraged to take these short power naps in order to be more creative and to enhance their wellness productivity and efficiency so uh, when we come to correct way of eating and dietary habits i would first like to begin with um, mentioning allah's name which we all muslims do out of habit um doing any work 
uh, any good work um, or uh, doing anything be it eating food we say allah's name we recite allah's name and we say bismillah rahman rahim and this is equal to saying three names of allah and uh, like we know bismillah has allah's name then rahman rahim uh, rahman and rahim are both allah's name rahman means gracious allah is the only one who can protect protect us from destruction and rahim means merciful it is only by allah's mercy that we can be successful so these this just this word bismillah rahman rahim holds precious meaning and importance and brings unexpected benefits for us as muslims another component of physical health is correct way of eating hum kis tarah khana kha rahe hain to humne abhi core temperature ki baat ki ke khana aapka jo ho wo body core ke temperature se match karta ho and that's where digestion and absorption is optimum we consider energetics in the seasons we talks about energetics okay food rotation फूड रिटेशन का मतलब ये है कि आ, और ये सादा ज़्यादातर आपके ब्रेकफास्ट टाइम को अप्लाई करता है यूजली वी आर ऑल हैविंग ऑमलेट्स एट ब्रेकफास्ट अंडा पराठा राइट और सम पीपल हैव पॉरेज और वट बट ज़्यादातर अंडा पराठा चल रहा होता है सो अंडा एग इज़ गुड बट हैविंग इट ऑन अ डेली बेसिस इज़ अ कॉज टू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल नॉट गेटिंग दैट वाइटी अब इतने सोर्सेज से हम वाइटी वी कैन हैव यू नो आलू का कबाब और वी कैन हैव चने का सालन और आलू की भिजी वी कैन हैव सो मच वराइटी इन आ ब्रेकफस्ट एंड गेट प्रोटीन फ्राम वेरियस सोर्सेज बट यू नो वी जस्ट टेकिंग टू वन सो रोटेशन इज इज एडवाइज फॉर वराइटी रोटेशन इज एडवाइज टू प्रिवेंट एलर्जीज रोटेशन इज एडवाइज फॉर होम्योस्टैटिस इन द बॉडी सो आपको ये स्लाइड नज़र आ रही है दर वाइटी ऑफ फूड जस्ट टू शो यू फूड कॉम्बिनेशंस का हम एम्फिस हम वी इट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वी नॉट बींग टोल्ड कि किन चीज़ों को किन फूड्स को आपस में मिलाना है लाइक वी टॉक्ट अबाउट फ्रूट राइट कि हमने अगर हम फ्रूट खा रहे हैं तो हमने खाने से पहले खाना है और इफ़ वी आर नॉट हैविंग इट बिफोर फूड देन वी द टाइम कम्स प्रॉब्ली टू आवर्स अवे फ्राम योर मील टाइम ताकि जो हमारा पहला का खाना बेसिकली इट टेक्स अबाउट थ्री आवर्स फॉर द फूड टू बी Uh, you know get digested so uh, the next um, uh, time comes after 3 hours or 2 hours minimum 2 hours for a snack is okay but for another meal there should be a gap of this window of 3 hours so um um so important rules for milk mai kuch khano ki batati hu i won't cover all so milk should always be taken with shakkar and ovaltine because it get it's more digestible in the body and then people who are lacto lactose intolerant if we are having it um with shakkar ovaltine or any other sweetener um natural sweetener then we are uh, you know that's more tendency of the lactose the milk to be absorbed in the body then milk is is as we know that is a complete meal it should be ha have had one hour before the meal or 3 hours after the meal so ब्रेकफास्ट के साथ बच्चों को दूध देना इज़ नॉट अ गुड आइडिया ड्रिंकिंग मिल्क राइट आफ्टर मील वाई इट्स बैड बिकॉज इट स्लोज आर डाइजेशन एंड कॉजेज एसिड रिफ्लक्स ड्रिंकिंग कोल्ड मिल्क इज ऑल्सो एज बैड बिकॉज इट ब्रिंग्स डाउन द कोल्ड टेम्परेचर ओके देन डिजर्ट शुड नॉट कम आफ्टर अ मील एक बड़ा एक कॉमन स्टैंडर्ड ऑपरेटिंग प्रोसीजर है दैट खाने के बाद मीठा येस सुन्नत ज़रूर है थोड़ा सा आप ले सकते हो ग्रीन टी में शक्कर ले सकते हो वो भी इट एक्स एज अ स्वीट ना थोड़ा सा बट हैविंग लार्ज डिजर्ट्स इज नॉट रिकमेंडेड और उसका एक बड़ा सा एक प्रोसेस है विच इज शोन इन दिस स्लाइड बिकॉज एक छोट उसको मैं उसको कंसोलिडेट uh, करके बता सकती हूँ कि हमारी शुगर जो फूड से रिलीज होती है इट इट गेट्स रिलीज आफ्टर थ्री आवर्स और डिज़र्ट से या किसी भी स्वीट एनी एनी ड्रिंक स्वीट ड्रिंक और एनी मीठी चीज़ उससे शुगर कब रिलीज होती है फॉरन ठीक है एंड वेन देवर हाँ फॉरन एनर्जी आती है फॉरन ग्लूकोज एंड वेन एवर दे इज ग्लूकोज इन द ब्लड स्ट्रीम वट हेल्प्स इट गेटिंग अब्जॉर्ब हेल्प्स गेट यू नो यूटिलाइजिंग द ग्लूकोज क्या ऐसा हॉमोन है जो रिलीज होता है इंसुलिन रिलीज होता है सो ऑल ऑफ दिस इज अ कॉज फॉर टाइप टू डायबिटीज फ्रूट्स द प्रॉपर टाइम 
is either before meals yes or during snack times and snack times come there are two snack times in the entire day one is morning snack time and the other one is evening snack time so for example if having if i'm having my breakfast maximum by 9 am to hamara snack time kab banega 3 ghante baad ha 12 baje to wo 3 ghante wala rule apply okay and if you having uh, lunch at 1 pm so our snack time will be around 4 to 5 pm excellent and snacks ke liye i haven't uh, included that slide but snacks ke ideal snacks are <coughs> they could be tea even coffee falls during snack time do not have coffee with meals it's highly acidic do not have coffee with meals, meals. no 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 breakfast because acidic hai na baat sari uh, abhi aage wali slide hai ki blood ph par humne baat karni hai na to blood ph humne maintain karna hai jo ki 7.35 hai bahut माइन्यूट सा उसमें रेंज है सेवन पॉइंट थ्री फाइव टू पॉइंट सेवन पॉइंट फोर फाइव है और बट ब्लड पी एच को हमने अब उस रेंज में क्यों रखना है एनी बडी हैज एन आंसर क्यों दैट इज देल्थ इज बट वाई हमारा पी एच बैलेंस पी एच इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग पी एच जब नीचे जाता है एसिडिटी की तरफ तो डिजीज आती है एल्कलाइन की तरफ ज्यादा जाएगा जब भी डिजीज आएगी तो इट्स मस्ट बी इन दैट नहीं क्यों 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 आई एम जस्ट टेलिंग यू बिकॉज मैंने इतना कुछ पढ़ लिया आई वॉन्ट टू शेयर दिस विथ यू बिकॉज आर सेल्स फंक्शन इट दैट नहीं 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 बिकॉज हमारी जो सेल्स हैं वो उस पी एच के अंदर काम करती हैं तो अगर वो उस पी एच के नीचे नहीं आएगी उसके अंदर वो नहीं आएगा राइट पी एच नहीं आएगी तो परफॉर्म नहीं करेंगे ना उनके फंक्शन नहीं होंगे दैट्स द रीज़न ओके मिक्स एसिड विद एल्कलाइन फूड्स एंड द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल इज फ्रूट तो कॉम्बिनेशन की बात हो रही थी हमने क्या क्या सीखा है कॉम्बिनेशन में दूध का चाय का दूध पत्ती का डिजर्ट्स का एंड फ्रूट्स का एसिड एंड एल्कलाइन फूड्स जिसमें फ्रूट्स भी आ सकते हैं आ जाते हैं एंड देन टी ओके आर नेक्स्ट स्लाइड इज़ ऑन माइंडफुल ईटिंग दिस इज़ अ हैबिट चेंज सो स्पेशली फॉर द यंगस्टर सिटिंग हेयर लुक एट योर फूड एंड ईट इट सिट ऑन अ टेबल नॉट ऑन sitting on a couch or in your bed or anywhere else you have to look at your food and eat you have to eat slowly and chew it you have to eat when you're hungry okay so um why do we do all these things why do we get into these habits why are the healthy habits because it develops a relationship between you and the food imagine food kin marhalo se aa raha hota hai aur aapke aage table par pahuncha hota hai who has grown it who has harvested it who has brought it to your table who has cooked it who has paid for it so we, you, if you're thinking about that whole process you know you're g- getting into you know you're being thankful theek hai so it got sitting and eating mindfully guides you how much when what and where to eat it releases healthy chemicals inside you and we get good results and we optimize physical and mental immunity and mindless eating kya karta hu to on the contrary it converts healthy nutrients into toxic compounds so if you're eating a good salad bowl and really nice nutrients a quinoa salad or whatever or any ni- you know nutritional stuff and if you eating it not in a mindful manner then they're turning into toxic compounds so that that's a big uh, thing to learn so now we come to the importance of oral hygiene which is a fundamental component of physical health uh, it takes care uh, not only of the hygiene of the mouth but our teeth and our gums throughout the different times of the day and in islam we are um, encouraged to use miswak miswak ideally before wuzu for regular prayers before reciting quran and miswak before and after sleeping and in a hadith quoted by abu huraira A prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says were it not because of fear of burdening my umma i would have commanded them to use miswak before every prayer so you can realize the importance of it uh, yet there is another hadith which says, which tells us that the prophet took care of his teeth even during the time of fasting hikmat behind wuzu yet a very important component behind physical health and well being wuzu is basically cleansing our body fe- body parts cleansing our face our arms our head our feet with water 
and purifying it five times during a day. Scientifically, it is proven that, I, that uh, there are numerous benefits of wuzu. It prevents us from many physical health issues. Is, it gives us physical purity. It strengthens us spiritually. And as Prophet Muhammad wasallam said, wuzu eliminates all our bad deeds and sins. In fact, in many foreign countries, even in hospitals, wuzu is used as a treatment to cure patients of many ailments. Verily, Allah has placed His blessings in the smallest of tasks for His mankind to benefit from them. Verily, Allah has placed His blessings in the smallest of tasks for His mankind to benefit from them. And last but not the least, a very important component of physical health is exercise. And I can't stress less upon the benefits of walking. Walking is so much um, encouraged in Islam. Uh, and as you can see from these two pictures, walking to the house of Allah, walking to the masjid every day at certain times of the day, trains muscles to improve uh, any condition which you are suffering from. It protects the body against diseases which are caused by inactivity or probably sitting too much and above all obesity. So why is walking so important? Walking is important as you can see from this little diagram on, the, uh, on this presentation that the nerves of each organ terminate under the base of a foot. And the organs of these bodies have the sensories at the bottom of a foot. And when we walk, we are massaging these points and finding relief from probably the aches and pains which we are suffering from. Mashallah, subhanahu ta'ala. Allah subhanahu ta'ala has created our body so well that he thought of even this. He made us walk, a simple walk, so that we are able to always press on these pressure points and thus keeping the organs activated at all times. Subhanallah. Miracles of sujood or sajda. The benefits of sujood or sajda can be done during the times we pray, during our daily prayers or can be done separately also. And I must say that these long sajdas, when we put our head on the ground, it discharges all our negative thoughts in the ground. So basically grounding our negative energy. Sajdas are a submission to Allah. So they, are, they make us more physically stronger. Sajdas create calmness. So they make us more grateful and less anxious. And sajdas are also getting more um, better oxygen supply to our brain. So increases intelligence. So what, what basically happens during sajda time? Why is our, our brain, is, why is it so beneficial for the brain? So the position of our heart is such that it is above our head. So automatically blood flows so smoothly to the brain that it is able to supply all the essential um, nutrients and oxygen supply so that our brain cells are able to work better. Okay, the now, now second part is the mental and the emotional immunity. On that is positivity based, positivity based and that strongly protects us. It's very important. Uh, our 50 to 60% 60, 60 healing mental being calm with yourself and um, being emotionally well, happy and uh, it makes, it's more stronger than the physical immunity. Is par humne kis tarah kaam karna hai? Mental immunity par humne kis tarah kaam karna hai? Lots of things come to my mind. Read positive stuff, think positive uh, stuff, read positive literature, avoid all negative, th negative things because negativity uh, reduces cortisol and cortisol leads to inflammation. Um, indulge in ha healthy activities. Koi bhi aapki hobby ho in your elder age which you've left uh, because of your daily routine ya ghar mein kaam hoat hain and badi time nahi mil ra. Indulge in those activities at least an hour a day even if you don't get time. Try to organize your time and that uh, works. Sara, you, you, you have to you know consider that that's yes. So, this is what you are doing for And self-care. Basically, all the activities I have mentioned, they are all part of self-care. And that comes with self-awareness. Self Walking barefooted, earthing your negative energies in the ground, brings you emotional immunity, mental immunity, laughter therapy, taking laughing with kids because they are more innocent and you are laughing with them. Uh, 
taking time for yourself eating well exercise sleep social connections family and friends and events like this all contribute to uh, emotional and mental immunity and the last one and not the least is the uh, the spiritual immunity aur wo hamara kaise aayega hamare allah ke sath connection se ki jitna hamara faith strong hoga utna zyada hum we will be connected to the divine um and that will spiritually align us so our faith needs to be strong and for that you have to nurture the soul we have to nurture the soul through different ways um through gratitude is a good way allah se shukr guzari hum bahut usko underestimate karte hain start your day with you know just relax your mind feel at peace think positive and allah se shukr me lag jao with the start of the day and you'll see ke wo aapka pure din ka flow kitna khoobsurat hoga so gratitude is the universal is the oil for the universal wheel aur ye jo angels hain ye bhi hamare sath aligned hain ye hamare sath aligned hain jitna hum well alignment ki taraf niklenge we are you know angels bhi usi tarah suffer karte hain so the universe is directed towards us with gratitude and gratitude protects us from many ailments including fear and the other ways we can nurture our spiritual immunity is through zikr astaghfar as you mentioned a recitation of the quranic verses durood all these things are very fundamental don't take them lightly ke chalo theek hai ye cheeze hain but you know i'm a kid right now i don't need to but you building an aura around you and a positive energy around you which protects you and and sometimes uh, you know we are doing haywire with our diet we are not following um you're not into mindful mindful eating 100% we're not into natural foods 100% we're not uh, you know bahut sari cheeze hum nahi kar rahe hote but if you spiritually aligned we are disease free theek hai so um all of these things just to recap body mind and soul balance circadian clock pay heed to the circadian clock food preferences food rotation alkaline and acid combination not mixing salty food with sweet feed sweet food theek hai ye hamara food ke andar aa gaya so mindful eating sleep emotional therapy all of this are components of health so health again is not phys- is physical it's spiritual it's emotional it's also social and it's also financial so that's a new term and then when we are inclined with the universe there's another term to remember to learn about is entrainment and entrainment is the healing tool it's being sync with the surrounding energies around you it's being able to be be able to sync with the universe uh, around us and that is built by routine prayer good breakfast quality sleep meditation hobbies and it is entrainment which leads to alignment with nature soul becomes strong and all bad thoughts and evil thoughts are repelled and it makes you a healthier and have help uh, happier human being always remember a strong body will adhere all storm a strong body will adhere to all storms jitne bhi mushkil musibat mein aayenge if all these components are there and we working hard on them we are able to deal with that stress many people स्ट्रेस के वक्त बिल्कुल वो गिर जाते हैं दे आर नॉट एबल टू टेक दैट स्ट्रेस वाई बिकॉज उन्होंने इन चीज़ों पर काम नहीं किया होता और इस पर काम किया है तो ये नहीं है ऑल ऑफ दम इट्स यू नो हीलिंग इज़ अ होलिस्टिक प्रोसेस इट्स नॉट जस्ट लाइक आई टोल यू कि एक चीज़ पर महदूद है इन ये एक होलिस्टिक ट्रीटमेंट होती है होलिस्टिक थेरेपी होती है टूवर्ड्स अटेनिंग ऑप्टिम हेल्थ एंड ऑलवेज रिमेंबर ये मुझे पिक्चर्स ऑलवेज यू नो आई लाइक दिस दिस इलस्ट्रेशन कि हमारा जो हमारी जो बॉडी इट्स लाइक अ प्लांट और एक नया पौधा जो है उसको हमने नर्चर करना बहुत ज़रूरी है एंड इट्स अ डेली नर्चरिंग प्रोसेस राइट वी हैव टू गिव फूड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ गुड मनी और टू अ प्लांट पानी देना है सनशाइन देनी है वी हैव टू टेक इट आउट इट हैज़ टू बी आउटडोर्स एंड उतना ज़्यादा वो फलेगा फूलेगा और ब्लूम करेगा सो इट ब्रिंग्स मी टू द एंड ऑफ माई वर्क बाय माई एंड ऑफ माई लेक्चर आई होप I was able to um, convey my message effectively. Thank you for thank you all for uh, bearing patience. Thank you so much. Thank you.